For this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to calculate uh, year to date versus prior year to date. And this came up as a response to or as a comment to Lorna's video last week. So she was talking about how to create uh, big ass numbers. And uh, from uh, from viewer Andre, I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name. Uh, he asked, you know, he's got the first three months in the current year. How can he compare that to the prior year? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it for any date range. So if your data goes through, let's say, April 15th. Um, you could compare April 15th of 2018 or January 1st through April 15th of 2018 compared to January 1st of 28, um, January 1st through April 15th of 2017. So let's show how you do that. I'm just get connected to regular old Superstore and I'm going to start by just dragging in my order date field because I want to look at the date range that I have. <clears throat> and you can see my date, my data goes all the way through the end of the year. So doing a year to date isn't going to be particularly useful. So I'm actually going to add on a data source filter because I want to kind of make the data look like it's a partial year. So I'm going to add the data source filter for my order date. And I want to do month, day, year. And I'm going to just eliminate some of my 2018 dates. So let's say we want to go from, it doesn't really matter, I'll just pick something random, April 3rd. So I'm going to exclude those. And you notice now my data uh, if I go down, now my data ends at April 2nd. So that's what a data source filter does. That's one of the first filters in the order of operations. Okay, <clears throat> so what we want to do now is we need to first get the most recent date. So I'm going to do that with a, a simple level of detail expression. So I'll call this most recent date. And by the way, today I have a studio audience at the data school. So uh, hopefully they behave while you guys are listening. So I'm going to do a fixed level of detail calculation. And actually, I don't even need to do that. Well, I don't have to type fixed. I can just do max of order date. Drop that in there and put my end mustachio on and hit OK. And now if I drag this date into the view as well, and let's just do like that, we can see we get the same date all the way down, which is our most recent date. All right, so now I need to get the uh, first date for the year. So to do that, so I'm going to call this first day. Um, uh, or actually I could just call it Jan 1 uh, current year. And what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to do a date trunk on my most recent date. And when I do that, uh, what does it say? Uh, string date time. Okay, I can just convert this to a date time. I haven't seen that before, so let's do that. And uh, it doesn't like that either. Uh, this being called with date time, did you mean string date time? Ah, okay. Uh, I, sorry, I just typed it in wrong. So let's do, I need to do year of order date. Um, I'm sorry, most recent date. I make a lot of mistakes if you can't tell. Uh, hit okay. And now when I drag this into the view, oops, I'm gonna actually just make it a date. And when I drag this into the view, I should get uh, January 1st for that year. So that's what the date, if, I, if you truncate it, to the year level, it just goes to January 1st for that year. <clears throat> okay, great. So now I wanna create those same fields, but for the prior year. So I'm gonna call it uh, most recent date prior year, so PY. And I'm gonna do a date add function at the day level. I'm gonna say go minus, uh, no, I'm sorry, at the year level. And I wanna subtract a year. So I'm gonna do most recent date. And that's going to now give me the same date prior year. So let's drag that in. Oh, wait, again, it made it a date time. So let's make it a date. Uh, let's see. So if I drag that in now and put it on discrete, you'll see I now get the same date prior year. So rinse and repeat for the January 1st of current year to January 1st of prior year. So I'm going to create a calculated field and call this uh, Jan 1 PY. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. Date add uh, year. I want to subtract a year from my current year. Hit OK. And you could do all this stuff in, in a single calculation, but I, I like splitting it out so that I kind of see what it looks like. So now I've got January 1st of prior year. OK, so we know all our dates are working. So now I want to call it uh, current year sales. And I want to say if order date is greater than or equal to Jan 1 current year and order date is less than or equal to uh, most recent date, 
then sales, uh, else zero end, hit okay. And now we have our current year sales. So I'm just gonna put that on the text shelf and we can see we've got 129,941 and I can validate that. So let's make sure that's right. So I'm gonna put my order date, uh, where is it here? Where's order date? Order date, there we go. So I'm gonna put order date in here and I'm going to filter it down to my year. And let's just say 2018 and put sales in the view. And then down here at the bottom, I can see it says in my status bar, it says 129,941. So I know that I did the calculation right. Okay, so now we just repeat that. Or actually what I'm going to do first is set my default number format. And let's set it to currency. I'm going to do zero decimals. And of course we should make it dollars. And let's hit okay. And now we want to just duplicate that calculation. And oops. And let's edit that and call it prior year sales. And all I'm going to do is just switch these fields. So Jan 1 prior year, and then order date less than or equal to most recent date prior year. Okay, uh, prior year sales, there we go. So I'm going to drop that on top here. I drop it on here instead of the text shelf because I want to get my measure names up here because I'm going to make these big ass numbers. Okay, so now I can put measure names onto text as well and hide my header. Okay, so we've got those, and now I wanna calculate the difference. So, uh, or we wanna do percent difference even. So I'll just, let's start with just the year over year. So I'm gonna do the sum of prior year sales minus the sum of current year sales. And let's put that in the view as well. And we get minus 33,000. Okay, so let's format that nice and neat. And so we wanna do currency and let's make it dollars. Okay, so we get so we've had a thirty-three thousand. Uh, we're thirty-three thousand behind prior year, and we want to know what that is as a ratio. So uh, let's call it what year over year percent. I just want to do my year over year. Oops, there we go. So I'm going to do year over year uh, divided by sum of prior year, and let's format that now. Default properties number format. The way I like to do this when I'm doing a something, I want to know if it's an increase or decrease. I'll set it to I set it to one decimal. I'm going to go in here to custom. I'm going to put a plus sign in front of the positive value and put a minus sign in front of the negative value. So you can format it like that. So you, you know, I think it's a bit more intuitive for the reader. Okay, so now we get something like that. And the last thing you would do is just clean it up a bit. So I'm going to make my measure names. You know, maybe let's make them huge. Uh, Tableau semi bold, and we can leave the other one the, the way it is. And then I want to center align everything. And then if I just, oops, I did it the wrong way. Make it a bit bigger. There we go. Oops, I did it backwards. So let's uh, pretend I didn't do that. And let's make this uh, nine. Let's set it back to, what is it, Tableau regular? I think that's my favorite. Oops, didn't I just switch it? Tableau regular? Okay, so I need to switch these around. Uh, oops, center that, and then I could make this uh, 18. Let's just do it like that for now. So now we've got our big numbers, make that semi-bold. Okay, and the last thing I do is I get rid of uh, these lines. So I'm going to format, go to my borders option, get rid of my row dividers. And then last thing you can see in tooltips, we don't really need them because we've got the big numbers. So I'm going to go into my tooltip shelf and turn those off. And that's it. We've got some uh, year of year versus prior year. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.